Hello YouTube and welcome to our 43rd Unity 3D tutorial. So it's all good. Um, this one is a suggestion from the user Bob Billy, which is a link to his link to his channel in the description. Um, he asked, um, "How do I put colliders on trees?" Because at the moment our game, it is a good suggestion, brilliant suggestion. But if we say go into our Batmobile, because that is obviously the best vehicle we have. If we drive off into these trees, naturally, what should happen? We should hit it and stop. No, we go through, we go through, we go through it all, which isn't good. We can't go through buildings, though. That crashes. See? That's what we want. And there's a tree up that stairs, apparently. So, in this tutorial, we're going to add um, colliders to our trees. So, adding colliders, because there are two types of trees, can be good, can be bad. It depends how far you've got through. But we'll start with the big trees here. So if we disable the lighting and the things, as you can see, the big trees here, mixed with palm trees, which is not what we want. We want these ones, which are also mixed with palm trees. But anyway, right, so we have a big tree. We can walk through this. So if we click on it, we can't click on it. So if we go to our terrain and look where the tree trees are here, we can see it's called big tree simple so if we tap in big tree we want to see the main model so we've got one model of it and it's called big tree we click it and it's a prefab which is good so th being a prefab means we can drag it out and put it on here and I like say let's examine the properties what does it have what type of colliders does it have well it's got no children and no collider so these ones which are prefabs are really really simple all you do is go into the side view and add a collider any type you want um, what we could actually try is go component physics and add a mesh collider. Has it got a mesh? Yes, it has. So adding a mesh collider um, duplicates the model, but then turns it into a, a collision of its own. So the way I did it before was I actually provide, put on a um, capsule collider, but the leaves weren't collidable, if that's a word. But the leaves didn't have collision now. If we were to put that back in, it wouldn't do that at the moment. We need to reassign it back to the prefab. So if we again here, get rid of that, and type in big tree, and assign this big tree back into it with the collider, it now has it. So if we play it now, that big tree has a collider. The big trees are that simple, however, the palm trees are where it comes annoying. So we'll drive our forward car, because just we can. So these ones don't haven't been touched but if we crash into this we can go through it great so the mesh collider doesn't seem to work okay so the mesh collider doesn't work so we'll get rid of that drag it back out and get rid of that and then we will add a cylinder collider or capsule collider I'll go with a capsule collider yeah so as you see, it's huge but we don't want it like that because then we won't be able to get nowhere so what we're going to do is just wrap it around the bark of it. I actually don't know why the mesh collider doesn't work, but oh well. Hi, it will keep it up near the top. Make it a bit fatter. Want it to have some bulk. And then we'll position it. So if we actually change all this to zero, 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 it'll put it in the middle, then all we have to do is move the y-axis. We'll put it right about there. That'll do. So we've added that, it's got a big pole up the middle, um, probably not the best, but yeah. Stick that back in, and test two. Oh, I ate it. We should just put one right there, which we can easily turn around and go and get. But yeah, so let's try it again. Fire at it. Die, die. There you go. As you saw, I can't go through it no more. And that counts for them all. So we can't now go through it. So if we were to drive a car through there, which we could just refresh, we can go straight through it. So in the first five minutes, we've covered that, which is simple. We'll take the Humvee, because that's the biggest one. And we'll go down here. And we'll just crash into this, and we should stop. Boom. As you can see, boom. So we're being bashed about. If we had vehicle damage on, we would probably have died by now. Handbrake. Um, just... I'll show you in slow motion, so we'll hit this one. Boom. So we can't go past it. So that's done, which is good. So we can delete that big tree now. 
Now the palm tree. If we tap in palm, as you can see, it has got one, but it's a model, which you can tell by the icon and the input settings, which isn't good <laughs> because it's more annoying as a model. So the be we, what the model basically means is it's been imported, but it's not been created as a prefab like the big tree. So it can be annoying, but it can be fixed. So what we're going to do is drag it on so we can see it. Um, if you tick generate colliders on here, it do doesn't actually do anything because as we just saw, the mesh collider doesn't work. So the best way to do this is to hide these and then add another capsule collider like we just did. So and we'll mess with the properties. Press F to focus and 000. Radius really thin. As you can see, it does bend, so you might be able to go and tap your head on it, but, uh, oh well. And we'll move it up. So, we have a big pole on it again. However, if we, we can't actually attach this back to this, because it doesn't work like that. So, what we're going to do is go into our models folder, and we'll stick this in landscape. I was going to say later, but this kind of meddled up, but... I created a new folder because today's loading screen is a tree. So it, it says the trees of the realm came from all over the universe. The, the not so common earth realm needle tree has brown bark and can hurt the player when close. So be careful when chopping down for resources. So that allows it so because it's prickly. If if you don't know what they are, they're basically like normal trees, but they have these little like spikes what come off from which make up the leaves. And you can actually push it against your hand and it just breaks, but um, we can say it can hurt the player today. So we'll come back to that to later, but in my landscape and trees folder, I'm going to create a new folder. Well, actually, no, we're going to put this in prefab, probably better. Um, in our landscape one, we're going to create one called prefab. Well, not called prefab, called palm tree. And we're going to assign it into there. Now if we test it at the moment, we can't walk through there, that's 100%, we know that. However, it's not updated all of these, which is bad. So what we can actually do is if we click the terrain, or not click anything that will cause problems, click the palm and click edit, edit tree. We can actually choose what tree we want. So if we click palm, and which one was ours? That's great. We call ours palm tree. So if we click that and click apply, nothing's changed. But then if we go and click it and then drive into one, well, walk up to one then. Fire, see if we can hit it. I don't know why my sounds aren't working anymore. I think I disabled it in Unity. As you can see, the trees now have colliders. So every single tree in our game now has a collider, which is a palm tree. And big trees have them too. And this very small building. See? So that's how you put colliders on trees. Um, now, continue on from what I was saying about the other type of trees, what we've got. I downloaded it off the internet, off of the site, which I'll put in the description again. The Needle Tree by 3D Regenerator again, who keeps popping up, who is good for his models. But So, we've got that, um, and I used the tree here. Was it that one? No, it wasn't. I changed trees, yes. I used that tree there, put it in, and changed it. So, we can actually make that tree, when you walk up to it, it starts hurting you, because you get pricked by it but you can chop it so that gives us ability to lose health rather than just characters it and us so if you're a peaceful character you've still got a chance of dying which is good so I've imported it into our models folder which is needle tree here and if we drag it down and place it in as you can see it's a very nice looking tree which I like a lot so we're gonna place that and we're gonna make it a bit bigger first though so we'll say 1.3 Boom. Go boom. Any like any minute now. Hmm. There we go. So that's a bit bigger, which is better because we want it bigger than our character. It's a really nice looking tree, I will say that. But yeah. So we're now gonna create another prefab like we usually do. So we'll go prefabs in our landscape, create prefab, and we'll call this needle tree. If it's not called needle tree, please tell me where it is, but from the site and Google, it's called the needle tree. So, needle 01, we'll call it needle tree, so it fits the name. And what does it's, it's got null reference in it, which is fine. 
But what do we want? We actually want a collider on it, just like the other one. So what we're going to do is, again, just the same as we did the palm tree, we'll add a capsule collider, which is tiny. And what we do, we want him to actually stay away from it, the whole thing. So what we can actually do is increase the radius so it covers the whole tree, because if it hits any part of the tree, it's going to hurt him. So we drag it up, drag this up. I don't think it'll be going any higher than that. So what we'll do is drag it across. Now let's see if it's done all the way around. Yeah, so if now he comes anywhere near that, he's going to hit it, which is good. And then in our script, what we'll do is basically just code it and say, like, um, if he's touching or in range of this tree. So if he's in range of the tree chop, then it starts hurting him, which is what we want. So we've done that. Now, exactly like the palm tree, drag it in as a prefab and click our terrain. And now let's add it. So we've already done this before, but we'll do it again. Add tree. And we call it needle tree. It's not needle 01, I know that. So where do we want these needle trees? I think what we'll actually do is just put it here, so in the barriers. We don't want the big trees, we want the needle trees. So the needle thing doesn't contain any mesh renderer, which is there. So we, this one needs to be adapted, apparently. So we're going to drag this up and take out the null object. We don't want the child in no more. We're going to rename the needle tree and delete it. And we'll rename the null back to needle tree. So if we double click this, it is there. It's the exact same. But what it was saying is the error there says that it can't find this mesh renderer which should be on top. So it can't do it. So if you notice, the other trees are just one object. So um, exact same process again. Capsule collider. Already done, see? So all we do is attach it again. Do you want to replace it? Yes, we do. And try again. So we go to paint and it will say edit again, maybe it wants to be re-imported. I don't think this tree is looking like it doesn't want to work. There we go, oh dear. So all it needed was for it to be re-imported. So we get rid of all this because this is going to make our game lag. Let's get, look at that lag, wow. Right, so we'll definitely change the tree density down. Uh, and click, click, click. So that'll do. Click off. So now we have some nice woodland trees. So we can go and try that. And then that's all I'm going to do for this one. For now, as you saw, that error disappeared because we don't want that error. So we'll get back in our Batmobile and take off. So we'll go and walk up to it. So, hit there we go. We can't get near it. Um, we haven't yet attached the tree chop thing to it because that would mess up. But we could do that if you wanted. All you have to do is attach it to here. So if we go tree chop, did we attach it to that one? I'm not sure. Where's our thingamajig? What do you call it? Trees. Auto grow tree. I can't remember where we put it now. Hmm. But basically, if you attach it to the tree, then it should allow you to do it. But I also think we put it on the thing, so... Yeah, so all you have to do is attach it to the tree. Wait, um... Click that one, there we go. Attach it to the tree chop script, and then whenever you go up to it, you'll be able to chop it off. So, we'll do it for the needle tree, but we'll eventually have to edit it. Close this, find our tree chop script. Chop. Tree chop and place it on. Any variables need setting? Nope. So we'll try one more time. So this should effectively allow us to chop this tree down. Come here, Batmobile. What we can eventually do as well is add some thrusters at back at Batmobile so as you're flying it speeds up. There we go. So now if we agree range of this, 
I don't think that's wanting to work. Oh well, well it was worth a try, so maybe that we need to fix our tree chop at one point. But yeah, so there's how to do collisions on trees. Um, now every single tree has a collider, which is good. Um, so thanks for watching. Um, just going to get rid of these trees in this pool because it looks silly. Like so. And thanks for watching. So see you next time. Thanks to Bob Billy for the suggestion. And we've got an error. It's just with a shader. We don't need to worry about that one. Um, see you later.